I'm Maya the Science Kid. Today I wanted to do something different, so I'm going to teach you all how to code in Turtle Python over the next couple of episodes. I don't know how to teach Python really well, so I brought my friends along and we made this video together. These are my friends. This is Anneli and this is Anna. Hi, I'm Anneli. Hi, I'm Anna. And we made this so that you can learn Python over the next couple of episodes, so I hope you really like them. Hi, I'm Anna. For today's lesson, I'll be teaching about variables. Basically, a variable is something that can change. For example, in line one, I have a variable here called A. A can be anything which in this case, we wrote hello in quotations. Quotations in coding can contain words, numbers, or symbols. But types of variables could be another lesson. So let's come back to variables. In line three, I have printed typed print A, which we know is hello. But if I change A to something else, the computer will forget about hello and use the new value, hi. Now, I'll press run and it will show hi instead of hello. But, now let's change it back to hello since I'll need hello later. And I think you can see that I've put a hashtag before this line, and now it's green. This is called commenting things out. That means when you have commented something, the computer won't run the commented lines. You can use comments to label your work without the computer getting confused. Anyway, as you can see here, we have four more variables, which each have different things inside of them. Now, let's print it out. When I press run, the computer will write each of the sentences. Since A equals hello, B equals space, and C, D, and E are our names, it will write hello space Maya. So, we've learned about variables. Now, you know that variables can change and are very useful in coding. I'll let Amelie continue the next section of this lesson, which is about one type of variable. Hi, I'm Amelie. For the next part of the lesson, I'm going to teach you about floats and integers. An integer is just a fancy name for a number, and floats are numbers with decimals. Don't know what decimals are? Ask your parents. As you can see on the screen, we make two more variables like you learned in the last part of the lesson, and in them, we put an integer and a float. I'm going to use the values 4 and 10.5, but you can use anything you like. Here I will type print f plus g plus g. What this does is it tells the computer to add F, G, and G together. Let's press run. What should show up on the screen is the number 25.0. Do you notice how the number 25 has a point O on it? In math, 25 is the same as 25.0, but in the computer language, 25 means that the number is a mix of an integer and an integer, whereas the number 25.0 means that the number is a mix of a float and a float, or an integer and a float, even if the number is even. Here we will type print f times g plus G. 
what this symbol does is it tells the computer to multiply F by whatever is in the parentheses, which in this case is G plus G. First, the computer will add G and G together. Then, it will multiply that by F. Let's press run again. What should show up on the screen is the number 25.0 and the number 48.0. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about integers, floats, and variables. See you next time. So, here are my friends. Amelie. Hi, I'm Emma. Emily. Hi, I'm Emily. Oh. Yo! <laughs> Anna and Amelie and Anna. Oh, and, no, I'll say, I'll say them, I'll say them like.